After presenting its flagship, which is available in both conventional and foldable form, Vivo Indonesia is now preparing to release its latest mid-range series through the Vivo V series. Having debuted in the country of origin a few weeks ago, Vivo V40 will soon officially visit consumers in the country next week. The presence of Vivo V40 is indeed worth waiting for. The reason is, compared to its predecessor, there are a number of interesting improvements brought. If previously only present in the Pro version, the standard Vivo V40 will also be strengthened with a number of exclusive features resulting from the company's collaboration with Zeiss, complete with the Optics Maker's logo on the rear camera module. Not only that, the design also brings a number of differences. The official website of Vivo Indonesia has also released a special page that provides a number of teasers of the advantages of Vivo V40, while posting the launch date, which will be held next week. What makes this latest Vivo smartphone worth waiting for you? In an exclusive hands-on session held by Vivo Indonesia on Thursday, Alexa Tiara, as PR manager of Vivo Indonesia, said that the latest Vivo V40 smartphone will be available on September 5, 2024. She also added that the device brings many improvements, which make it no less than the Pro version. For the first time, the regular V number series is supported by Zeiss, a technology that is usually found in our high-end and flagship series. Then there is IP68 and IP69 certification explains Alexa. Thanks to the addition of these features, he briefly mentioned that the Vivo V40 price would be slightly more expensive, but certainly still more affordable than flagship smartphones. For information, the previous two generations of the Vivo V series were only designed to be resistant to splashes of water, at least those officially available in Indonesia. While the Vivo V40 will be resistant to both dust and fresh water, at a depth of up to 1.5 meters, within a maximum time of 30 minutes. The number 9 in the IP69 certification itself indicates more that the device is resistant to higher water pressure and temperature, while the Vivo V40 camera specifications themselves are strengthened with the Zeiss all-main camera, where there are three 50-megapixel sensors embedded respectively on the front side, the back side, and also under the rear main sensor for the ultra-wide sensor. The selfie camera also has a wide viewing angle for group selfie capabilities. Still on the camera aspect, all three sensors are powered by Zeiss and offer professional-grade portrait features, complete with enhancements brought by Vivo AI. With Zeiss Multifocal Portrait, the smartphone offers portrait effects from three different focal lengths, 24mm, 1x zoom, 35mm, 1.5x zoom, for street-style portraits, and 50mm, 2x zoom, for more classic portraits. In addition to different zoom ranges, of course, Vivo V40 users will be able to choose different bokeh effects, as if they have various Zeiss lenses in one device, ranging from Zeiss Biotar to Zeiss Distagon. The main camera sensor has been reinforced with OIS, and of course the rear side has been embedded with Aura Light Portrait for bright and subtle lighting, for quality portraits in all lighting conditions. Coming in three different color options, the chipset on this smartphone still carries the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, which is known to be power efficient. Interestingly, although the dimensions are more or less the same, the Vivo V40 battery increases in capacity to 5,500 mAh versus 5,000 mAh in the V30, thanks to the use of BlueVolt technology. It also continues to support 80 watt flash charge. Approximately, how much do you think the Vivo V40 will cost? Music